hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to configure a custom add-ons path in a cloud server so what we will be doing is that we will be logging into our remote server and we will be illustrating you how we can add a new custom add-ons path in your remote server so what i have done is i have already logged into my remote server that is the droplet from the digital ocean and i have opened that Udo instance in my browser so currently we don't have any custom modules so we have only the default Udo add-ons inside this instance and there might be a case where you have to configure custom add-ons path to add newly developed modules or the downloaded modules from the Uru store so we will be showing you how we can or how you can configure custom add-ons path yourself by without help of others so i have already logged into my remote server and if i open my odoo configuration file so always odoo configuration file will be in etc path so i'll navigate to that path by cd command cd slash etc and to list all the available files inside this directory i'll enter ls so here we can see we have a file called odoo server.conf so if you don't know your odoo configuration file name mostly it will be odoo server.conf or it will be odoo.conf so this is my configuration file so now i have to open that file in edit mode so i'll open sudo nano enter your file name odoo server.conf and you can see this is my Odoo configuration admin password HTTP port the running port is 8069 Odoo log is this one and this is add-ons path so along with this you can see already there is a custom add-ons path which is added by the installation script that I have used to install and set up this Odoo instance simply I'll remove this folder from here so just I'll keep the default Fun. default add-ons simply i have removed the existing custom add-ons path and i'll be creating it from the scratch to see or how to show you how we can do that so currently my odoo source code is existing inside cd slash odoo folder in your case it may be inside opt so just try to locate where your odoo files are existing so in my case my source code is inside odoo folder and here you can see we have odoo server inside that all the Uru source code is kept and for the custom we have added a separate folder so what i'll do is that simply i'll remove the existing folder using cdrm-rf custom so i have just deleted the existing folder now i'll be starting from the scratch now let's see how we can create a new folder which is will be using for to store my custom modules so you can just create a new fold folder here so that you can use mkdir command make directory and specify the name so i'll keep it as custom add-ons the name i'll give as custom add-ons enter if you click on ls you can see a new file has been added now you have to check its permission ls minus la and see who is the owner so if you check here the owner of Odoo server folder is Odoo. You can see the owner is Odoo and Odoo. For custom add-ons, it's root. It's root user. So we have to change its ownership to Odoo so that Odoo user can access this folder. So you have to make sure that newly added folder has the same permission of this one. So in order to change the ownership of this file, I can use sudo ch on odoo odoo custom add-ons ls minus la and if you check here you can see the ownership has been changed sudo ch on odoo odoo and file name and the ownership has been changed so we have successfully added a new folder now what we have to do we have to take its path so let me go to cd custom add-ons <coughs> and i'll enter pwd and you can see you will be getting full path to that folder by entering pwd now copy that copy and you have to add it inside your configuration file so sudo nano etc sudo server.conf <coughs> excuse me 
so what we have to do we have to add the newly added path by putting a comma and control v i think i haven't copied that yeah it copied fine it's come opt sorry odoo slash custom add-ons so we have specified in the configuration file click on control x y and enter so we have successfully added the configuration new path in the odoo configuration file so in order to take its effect you have to restart your odoo service so sudo service odoo server stop and i will start so to confirm the newly path is added what we have to do we have to add a new module inside that path and we have to see the file is listed or the app is getting listed here so let me pause for a minute so what we have to do is that we will be copying a file from our local machine to that path and let's see whether it get listed or not so i have already downloaded a module from the Odoo app store which is om accountant so let me extract here so this is my local machine and i'm going to copy this module from my local to the remote server and add to the newly added add-ons path so if i open here we have a module called accounting pdf reports so let's copy to the remote server so using the scp command sudo scp minus r accounting pdf reports i have to copy to my remote server so the ip is this one so let me copy and root that let me remove that https i just need only the ip address root that ip address colon slash i need to copy to odoo custom add-ons so to this path i have to copy this file so here what i'm doing is that i have a file folder or module accounting pdf reports so i'm going to copy this to the newly created path to odoo custom add-ons so let me run this command so it is asking for my password i enter that then we have to provide the password of remote server I have entered the password of my remote server and you can see the module will be getting copied to this path so if i enter ls here you can see the module is getting copied so it's not just finished it's just started so let's wait until the copying is finished so you can see the module is getting copied so let's wait until the copying file transfer is completed so what i'm doing is that currently i'm copying a financial reports module from odoo mates to my remote server so you can see it has been completed now i'll close this terminal and if i click on ls you can see accounting pdf reports has been successfully added into our custom add-ons path so we have added a new module to our path now we have to again stop and restart the service so stop and start the odoo service so i have stopped and started now let me go to the ui and what i'll do before updating app list so if i search for pdf reports pdf report you can see it's empty so what you have to do you have to activate the developer mode so i have used browser extension to activate the debug mode and what you have to do click on update app list so once you add new module you have to click on update app list and if you search for pdf reports you can see the module has been successfully added into our Uru instance and you can click on install and the module will be getting installed in this machine so you can see the module has been successfully installed without any issues so if you go to the invoicing reporting you can see the reports has been added so this is how you can set up a custom add-ons path in your server so i hope you understood this video if you like the video please do support us by liking sharing and commenting the under the video and feel free to share this video among your Odoo friends and please like please show an interest to join the channel so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you